Welcome to Selmac Machinery's Knowledge Base. Today we're going to teach you about the safety and the importance of aligning your top punch and your bottom die. The first time you work on your machine, you need to be absolutely sure that the top and bottom tools are perfectly aligned and have been aligned with a square or an odd round, making it possible basically to put any tool in afterwards. We're going to be removing the front and rear plate here. We're going to be removing the back gauge which will allow us access to the bolster. We will then remove the guard itself and the stripper plate and we will put in a square punch and die and then we will align it. You will have probably noticed that we haven't had the machine switched on at all during this process. You only need to switch the machine on a bit later on when you're actually aligning the tools. For the moment now, I'm going to put the square die and the square punch into the machine. We're going to put the machine into inch mode first. It's called adjustment. It slows the speed of the top ram down. We aligned it. We then drove it through into the punch. No damage. You can see it's got the same gap, left, right, front, back. We must now tighten up the 19mm bolts, keeping our eye that nothing moves as we do so. They want tightening up and a bit of extra with your copper hammer to give it a final tighten. But always keep checking that you're not moving the bolster as you tighten everything up. Rolling. Now, as you can see, we have aligned the square punch and die We've driven it into the actual die itself and we made sure that it wasn't going to contact in any way. If it contacts, a chip could come off, hit you in the face and blind you. You've got to be very careful. Safety is the utmost when aligning tooling. We've now tightened up the bolts, all six of them. We can now switch on the machine, bring the punch out and build our machine back up again. And then, if we want to change a punch or a die in future, we can trust that this machine is aligned perfectly. But, always bring down an inch the punch close to the die, making sure it's not going to catch. I don't really want to do any square punching today, so I'm now going to put the round tool back in. But I have the knowledge now and the safety of thinking, well, this tool is lined up. So when I take out the square and put in the round, I shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. But always remember, bring it down in adjustment, in slow speed, and make sure it is aligned. Because you never know, someone else might have used it in between.
And as you can see, the tool is still aligned. But again, for safety's sake, check that it is in line. Don't go into the die unless you are absolutely sure they are in line. We don't want pieces of tooling shooting out. It's very brittle material. You could cut yourself in the face. It could go in your eye and you could lose an eye. Safety first.